My name is Jessica Lopez, and I want to thank you for allowing me to share my story and my journey, journey in Europe with you. When I was four years old, I moved from Oaxaca, Mexico to the United States with my mom and my sister. My mother, fearing for our safety, moved us here. It was supposed to be temporary. This temporary move has turned into the last 18 years of my life. Although we have lived through poverty, we've also lived through times of prosperity. My mom sacrificed herself in many ways so that her children could receive post-secondary education and live a happy life. Even though she did everything she could to provide for us, she could not protect us from the ramifications of being undocumented students. Being undocumented is not a status that you can change simply by working hard every day. This question was always lingering above my head. Why bother trying? That question became more definitive as I grew older. I often held myself back at the face of any opportunity. Not wanting to accept defeat so easily, I enrolled for classes at Edmonds Community College in my senior year of high school. Right around the time of my high school graduation in 2012, my family went through some financial trouble. My mom had to close down her businesses and I found out that I was expecting a child. After a few months of financial uncertainty, my mom got back on her feet. By this time, I was well into my pregnancy. And then one day, my mom got a call from her lawyer. Our visas had been approved. When I, <laughs> thank you. When I saw my visa with my name on it and my picture on it, I felt like my existence had finally been validated. It was as if the weight of constantly carrying that pesky question around was gone and off my shoulders. I could go back to school, and I could find a decent paying job. I knew my son and I would be all right. After Jacob was born, I began to work as a janitor at Big Fish Games. It was there that I, met, I befriended a man who worked for the company, and I began to ask him questions like, what did he do for a living? And what had he studied in college? And did he like what he, had, what he was doing? It was there that I began to see technology as a field that I could study. It was a way to get ahead and support my son. Then I heard about Europe. I had an amazing nurse from Nurse Family Partnership, and she encouraged me to apply. It was the perfect match for what I was looking for. I went to an information session, and since I needed a ride, I dragged my sister along. I decided to apply and convince my sister to do the same. My sister got accepted into the program, and I had to make the tough decision that it was just not the right time for me. I enrolled at Highline and began taking classes there instead. I quit my job as a janitor and started working in retail. My sister went through the program, her internship, and graduated in January 2014. A short time after my sister graduated and started working, my mom asked me if I had given any thought to applying to year up again. Honestly, I had not. I had created a routine I was comfortable with. I was taking classes in the morning and working in the afternoon and spending time with my son in the evening. I saw from a very close range what a Europe student must do to complete the program. I was not ready for the long commute. I was not sure that, if I, that I would be a good parent if I spent so much time away from my son. 
I didn't want to quit school because I was finally on the path toward getting my degree. I later found out that while I was cleaning the trash from the cubicles and mopping the floors at Big Fish Games, there was also a Europe intern at Big Fish Games working toward having a career in IT. I was reminded about the opportunity divide and I thought about how someone was sitting at one of the desks learning the skills that I wanted to learn. I decided to apply again. I got accepted into the program and began one of the toughest years in my life. But not before reassuring myself that nothing stood in my way, not even myself. This was going to be an opportunity that I would commit to. Why bother trying became why not. I was not going to waste this opportunity. Supporting my son and myself while I was in Europe on less than what I was making at my previous job was not easy. Not being able to pay my mom for babysitting my son while I was at work has been my biggest struggle. Not being able to contribute financially to supporting my family has definitely been hard on my ego. I would sometimes question if I had made the right decision. Although it is only for one year, year up is one of the biggest things I have willingly committed to. I have been held to standards that no one else has required of me. Before year up, I was always late. I was late to school and to appointments. But during my time in year up, I made sure that I was always on time, even if I had to arrive an hour early every day. I also learned that what I have to say is important. Where I used to feel like I didn't have anything valuable to add, I now feel like I have the confidence to say what is on my mind. Europe students make incredible sacrifices in order to succeed in the program. My biggest sacrifice has been giving up time with my son. I've always been scared of spending too much time away from Jacob. Back in April, my mom had to make a trip to California. I wasn't able to find anyone to take care of Jacob while she was away, so she took him with her. I didn't see him for two weeks. When he came back, I realized that I had made the right decision. Two weeks cannot compare to the possibility of having to deal with a lifetime of feeling like an inadequate parent if I let this opportunity pass. One year ago, I was in the audience attending my sister's graduation. I was amazed at how Europe celebrated the graduates' accomplishments by holding such a beautiful ceremony. I had already been accepted into the program by then, and I couldn't help envisioning myself on this stage. I wondered how much I would learn in a year's time. I learned a lot at Nordstrom about technology and how to deal with working a full-time job in IT. It was a pleasure to work with such a supportive team and an honor to accept a full-time position in the service desk at Nordstrom. Thank you. I have never believed that I could achieve so much. I will forever be grateful to Europe for the training that I have received. My life has changed thanks to every single one of the staff members there. I will never be able to repay my mom for her generosity or for her love. I don't know if I would have made it to graduation without her support. Her resolve that I would succeed at Europe gave me the strength to complete the program. 
I am proud of the confidence that I learned, that I discovered during the learning and development phase at Europe and during my internship. I know that one day, Jacob will be proud too. Thank you.